Hello students, I hope you're doing well this week. Um, this video is to teach you how to be efficient and effective with your lab reporting. This week we have two labs, respiratory physiology, which is what I'm going to talk about, and caloric content, which by the way is most students' favorite lab. Okay, so we'll start at the lab manual, page 69. Now, I highly recommend, and most of you know this because we're in 156 now, it is extremely helpful to start by reading the lab from start to finish. Then you can get your questions, if you have any, out to the class or to me in a timely fashion. Um, it also allows you an opportunity to see what you need to provide for the lab. I want to make a note that you don't need a meter stick. You can convert inches to meters if you have like a tape measure of any kind. Uh, okay, and if you don't have a bathroom scale, you can estimate your weight. Okay, so what I do when I'm preparing to grade is something that I think would help you a lot when you're organizing yourself for your labs. I open an Excel document and as I read through the lab, I copy any statements down that I think are important. So all of this stuff here is just text from the discussion and review of the lab report, of the lab manual, excuse me. I read through the procedures, find out if there are any extra questions in there that I need to address. Check out what information is going in the different tables. After I've read through this, we get to the lab report assistant. I'm not okay with you handwriting answers in here and then scanning this back in. I really want it to be electronic and you can make an electronic table in Word, but if you do it in Excel, then you have the value of being able to put an equation in there and use it over and over again. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So just as I copied the text that I thought was important into the Excel on the side, I built all my tables in Excel as well by just copying and pasting the information. Then once you have all the data in there, um, create borders so it looks nice. Okay, you might need to expand this a little bit or decrease it so you can see the entire words that you've put in here. Okay, notice that table 1 and table 2 look a lot alike, but table 1 is balloon diameter and table 2 is lung volume. Okay, table 3 has an equation. So the nice thing about building these tables in Excel is that you can input an equation and then carry it through to other um, trials. So here we go. When you start an equation, you start with an equal sign. Okay, this equation right here is what I'm going to put in. So two parentheses, order of operation. Now if I want to multiply height times type mass, I'm going to click in cell B17 times cell B18, close the parentheses, divided by 3600, close the next parentheses, Carrot, 0.5. Okay, now it says 0 because I haven't actually put any data in here. So let's imagine that I'm 570 centimeters tall and I'm 320 kilograms in weight. These are superfluous numbers. They are not real. Okay, so you see that the surface area was uh, calculated for me. Now to get vital capacity, I'm going to do equals the surface area times 2,000 because I am female. Enter. Now these numbers, they don't look very pretty. You cannot leave that many significant figures when you started with a number with only three significant figures. So you go up here and you decrease the decimals. Okay, and there you have it. 
Now, in other labs, you know, you might need to pull the same equation through several trials. And in that instance, you can take the lower right corner of your equation and pull it down through every cell that you want to apply the equation to, and the math will be completed. Now, I also record all my questions here so I don't miss any of them. This lab does require you to go to the lab hack website and follow this pathway um, to learn some tutorials on respiratory physiology. Okay, here we have a couple more tables, a couple more questions, and that's it. Now, if you build a document like this, you can submit this to me as your lab report. I'm perfectly fine with that. I just don't want to get several attachments in one Dropbox. I want all the information in one page. So if you're going to use Word, the last thing I'll show you is after you've created these tables, you can select them, copy, and paste this right into a Word document. You can also use the insert table tool in Word, but then you don't get the opportunity um, for the equation building. So I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions and have a great week.